friends, how we doing today? We're gonna be sitting down and talking about all of the new arrivals at Ulta and the things that I'm definitely, definitely interested in trying and also those things that I'm not. So it's gonna be a real casual video. Um, I'll pop up pictures, you know, on the screen about what I'm talking about, but I've got it pulled up on my phone here and I'll just be scrolling through and kind of, you know, impromptu style, just giving you my feedback on these things. I'm not gonna stop and talk about every little thing, but just those products that are making me feel on one extreme or the other. Either, you know, I think it could be fun. First off, I see from the Ulta brand, the under eye brightener. Okay, this immediately is sending off like, try it, try it, because it's making me think of my beloved, you know, Becca under eye brightener. This was huge in the Emily Awards this year. This is a stick though, and it comes in two shades, the light to medium and the medium to deep. And I'm just very intrigued as to what this is. They say it's a multi-purpose balm to smooth, conceal, and brighten in one easy swipe. It has vitamin E, it has some turmeric root extract. It has licorice root extract. Those are things that can help with the radiance and the brightening and whatnot. So I really, really want to try this. That's one format, um, a stick, where I don't think I've tried hardly any corrector type products. So I really want to give that a go. There's something new from NARS here called the Air Matte Lip Color. And immediately it catches my eye because of the packaging. I mean, I just think it looks like a cool product. A lot of NARS stuff pulls me in packaging wise, just the simplicity and the details on this product though, it says it's limited edition, which seems kind of odd. If you just look at the product, it seems like a standard, like, you know, part of the line kind of look. It really follows their whole vibe. Doesn't look like something real, like different and limited edition, but um, an innovative formula that glides seamlessly onto lips for airy, long wear matte lips with a comfortable feel. Judging by the description here, I'm a little concerned that it may not actually be a matte lip color that really dries down for super long wear, but I'm picturing it being this kind of moussey product that uh, probably feels comfortable on the lips and does have a matte appearance, but could move around a little bit. Um, most of the shades, I would say at least half of the shades seem pretty intense and it may not be a texture that I'm going to love in that format of a product, but we're just kind of speculating here. I don't know for a fact how this would work out, but I would say if I'm being kind of choosy about what I want to try, um, I would probably sit those out because I'm not really interested in a matte lip color that's perhaps just going to travel around. Now the Air Matte Blush Yes, really intrigued by this. This does not say limited edition. It says a unique mood blush that transforms into a velvety powder for a weightless cloud-like wash of color. It says a hush of color, a hush of color. Should I be describing things that way more? Plush to the touch, a rush for the senses. Like I just, I really am curious about this texture. I definitely want to try it. Um, the shade Freedom is kind of appealing to me. It's the kind of thing I might just try one of. This this could be something I get in PR, I'm not sure, but I would be up for buying one of those. It looks like Laura Mercier has a new concealer product here, the Secret Camouflage Concealer Duo Stick. So it's a two-in-one all over face and under eye concealer duo, they say, that retouches flaws and brightens under the eyes. I would definitely give that a go. Um, I haven't had the best of luck with Laura Mercier's liquidy concealer, but this looks like something that could be really handy. I'm really interested to see the texture and see if that will play well on the under eye area. So yeah, I would try that. Benefit's got what looks like probably a pretty big release for them. I feel like they haven't done a ton of new things lately, but they're putting out a professional super setter pore minimizing setting spray. And this is another one of those where if it doesn't come in PR, I'm probably not going to be trying this. I'm not going to spend my money on it because I feel like, okay, they say it locks on makeup for 16 hours. Uh, Urban Decay All Nighter can do that and then some. I'm not really looking for the next latest and greatest setting spray because I've got a bunch. I've recently decluttered and I've got some really good ones that I like. But then they throw out that claim that it's going to instantly blur the look of pores. Do we really think we're going to have a full face of makeup on and then the setting spray is going to instantly blur the look of pores. I just don't buy it. I really don't. In the benefits, it says instant mattifying effect, and it says 93% said it perfects the look of makeup. That was a self-evaluation by 110 women after one week. The spray is going to perfect the look of makeup. I'm just, I, I'm going to be really shocked if that one 
can deliver on all of their big claims, but it's not the type of thing I feel drawn to buy right now. Again, we're speculating here. I could be wrong. This stuff could go on and prove me wrong. Maybe I'll have a, it proved me wrong video, but this is just the way I feel right now. Original liquid mineral foundation from Bare Minerals. Absolutely. I can't wait to try this. People have been asking me about this for at least a couple of months and I'm like thinking, where can I get it? I haven't seen it released anywhere. There are so many reasons why people love the original, you know, mineral powder foundation. And I guess they're trying to like recreate that look and benefit, but in a liquid product on the skin. It's got SPF 20. It says it's a vegan mineral liquid foundation made with 88% naturally derived ingredients, proven to visibly improve skin's texture and reduce pore size instantly and over time. Odd way to put that. It says it's inspired by Bare Minerals iconic and number one best-selling original loose mineral foundation, which is made with minimal ingredients for coverage that improves the appearance of skin over time. So I, I really want to see what that's all about. That foundation is a sure thing for me. Um, if you're looking at the new arrivals section with me as we scroll through here, you might see a lot of new elf stuff. And I did do a video, was it, I think it was just before the Emily Awards on a bunch of new elf. And now it looks like a lot of those products are available on Ulta's website. If you're into that. Okay, this looks like a biggie. Urban Decay has a Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. I'm not guaranteeing that this is what this product's gonna be like, but don't you feel like every brand is trying to have their It Cosmetics CC Cream? You know, like they're trying to create that product that's going to have hydration, that's going to have coverage. It says it's gonna give you 30% more hydrated skin, medium coverage, and a glowy finish. So they're touting medium coverage, so right then and there, they're not claiming full, so this could could be a little lighter and a glowy look on the skin. I probably will try this. I probably will. I'd like to see where that falls. You know, even though I've already done that whole BB cream and CC cream sorting it out kind of video, I would still be very intrigued to see where this falls on that spectrum of, you know, light coverage to full coverage and matte to glowy. Um, I'd love to be able to tell you how that stacks up. So I'll probably try that. Ulta looks like they're re-promoting their baked sculpt and glow because that's now under the new arrivals. Again, that's been around for years. I wonder if somebody like gave it a ton of buzz in their awards video or something. You know, I love Tahitian Sunset. They've also got two other shades, California Sunlight and Santorini Sun. I might be open to trying one of those other shades as well, but they're promoting that in their new arrivals section. That's interesting. Brevlon has a So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. Um, it's a no for me, dog. I have had so many fails with Revlon mascaras. I'm not even compelled to try it. Oh, Buxom has some new white Russian products, and I don't even need to really talk about these in this video because I already have them. They actually came in PR. I am wearing the palette right now. There's a combo. Does anybody see Allie Glines a little bit when they look at this palette? But there's a eye and cheek palette, highlight, and there's a lipstick. I'm wearing all three of those elements right now. You know, the, those lipsticks were big Emily Award winners. I love that full force lipstick formula. But yeah, that's all showing up as new under Ulta's website. More Revlon that they're sprinkling in here. The Colorstay Satin Ink Liquid Lipstick. This has caught my eye for sure. Um, this is claiming some really long wear. I think they said 16 hours of wear. The compelling thing here is that they say it's super long wearing, but surprisingly comfortable. They say it's full color in one step. Um, it looks like they've got a lot of great shades here, all the way from dark to nude and everything in between. Some nice looking kind of mid-tone shades that I would definitely be wanting to try. I would love to see if that's Revlon's take on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Anything else catching my eye? Oh, a Colorstay Light Cover Liquid Foundation. So they've put the Colorstay name on it. They're drawing us in with that. They're at least drawing me in with that because I respect that word, Colorstay, but it's a light coverage foundation. Effortless long wear fluid foundation, buildable coverage, looks flawless and feels fresh for 12 hours. The 12 hour claim is actually kind of low, is it not? Considering some things will say like, where's for 48 hours? No, where's for 24 hours? We hear that a lot, but they're saying 12. Okay, SPF 34, boost skin's hydration levels, easy to hold squeezable bottle, has a toddler, oh, toddle tip. <laughs> 
Not a toddler tip. Toddle tip for mess-free application. We'll have to get a look at that. It only comes in seven shades. So maybe that's really telling us just how light this is because when you see really lighter coverage products, generally the shade range is not as vast because they're probably thinking, and it's probably true in most cases that one shade is gonna be pretty forgiving and account for quite a few different tones within one shade. So we'll see if that's actually the case. That's a product I'd be willing to try for sure. So many complexion products. It always seems like at the start of the year, a lot of new foundations come out, including Almay here. Um, they've got a skin perfecting healthy biome makeup, hydration of a tinted moisturizer, um, skincare ingredients of a BB cream, medium buildable coverage of a foundation. Again, every brand wants to have an It Cosmetics CC cream now. I probably will end up trying it. I may not try it real soon. I might give myself a little bit of a chance with some of these other things first. Might put that down my list a little bit, but I am kind of interested. Revlon also is putting out a number of different quads called the Prismatic Shadow Palettes. Just to look at them, I feel like I can almost feel what the texture is going to be. Um, they look pretty metallic, like the entire quad looks like it would have some level of shimmer, but I almost sense that it would feel like some of the newer things CoverGirl or Maybelline has come out with. I don't know, none of those are really calling my name, honestly. And then as I scroll on, um, we're seeing some of the new Too Faced Peach stuff, which like I said in my last video, I'm gonna be trying some of those mini palettes Palettes, some of the peach complexion products. Milani has a supercharged brightening under eye tint. Oh, they're out of the peach shade, but they have a pink. But the fact that they're calling it lightly tinted hybrid two-in-one makeup and skincare, they've lost me a little bit. It's probably not gonna have a lot of coverage. And that's really what I'm like screaming for out of a corrector. I swear they just mix things up. They just scramble things just enough to keep you looking. It's like you're going through a grocery store and things aren't quite where they should be, so you have to look a little harder. ColourPop has a bunch of false lashes. Uh, not really feeling in the need. And then we're coming into some stuff that I've already seen on here like Hourglass and okay. So I think we've gone through most of the new arrival makeup. Again, I'm really referencing those things that catch my eye on the extremes, the definitely not interested or the yeah, I really want to try it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your feedback in the comments section. Was there anything that I said I wasn't going to try that you think I'm totally overlooking or are there things that I'm really interested in that you just do not care about? You can feel free to let me know anything in the comments and I will see you again very soon. Bye.